Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first module of Automata. So it has mainly 5 topics. Uh, if you see the syllabus, we will be having uh, more than 5 topics. But uh, let me tell you that the introduction to finite Automata, structural representation, Automata and complexity. These questions are not coming from the exam point of view, not from the exam point of view. Okay, not from exam. Okay, in exam these questions will not be there. This is just for your understanding and introduction. So these topics I will be covering whenever I go through the questions. So we'll be starting from here. We'll be discussing the central uh, concepts of automata theory. Then we'll be following with the other topics as well. Okay. So before starting, make sure the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Without wasting more time, let's get started. So the mind map, let me show you. The mind map is the first central concept we'll be discussing. We'll be discussing what is alphabets, strings, and languages. Then we'll be discussing DFA, which is different uh, deterministic finite state automata. Then we'll discuss non-deterministic finite automata. Then we'll discuss an application uh, text search. And finally, we'll also see the finite automata with epsilon translation trans uh, transitions. All of these topics are very important from exam point of view. So let's get started. Uh, what is the central concept of automata theory? Okay, so you need to understand few basic concepts of automata theory. If you don't know anything, what is automata and everything, this is the right video for you. I'll be discussing from the very starting. Okay, so you need to first understand what is alphabets. Okay, what is an alphabet? Alphabet is a finite non-empty set of symbols. It is denoted by sigma. Okay, so an example can be given like this. Sigma is equal to 0, 1. This is the binary alphabet. So this is called as an alphabet. Okay. The set of 0 and 1, this is called as an alphabet. Okay, so uh, we'll be using alphabets while uh, drawing the automata diagrams. Okay, now next, what is string? String is nothing but a finite sequence of symbols chosen from some alphabet. So, alphabet now, suppose this is the alphabet. If I choose from here, suppose I choose 3 times 0 and 1 time 1. Okay, so it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. This is a string. Okay, this is a string. Got my point? So, this is called as a string. So it is a finite sequence of symbols chosen from some alphabet. So if I choose 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, that is also a valid string from the alphabet 0, 1. Okay. Next, an empty string is denoted by epsilon. This is an empty string. It has no uh, value in it. No alphabets are present. And length of the string is given by two uh, vertical bars here. Okay. So suppose a string is equal to S is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. So what is S bar? That is equal to the length of the string is equal to 4 because 4 characters are present here. So yeah, like this only. Okay and the length of the epsilon string is equal to zero okay next we need uh, the powers of an alphabet so it is defined as sigma power k where it represents the set of strings of length k if i want to have strings of length k from the alphabet i will be writing it like this for example if this is the sigma given to us and sigma power one will be equal to zero one only sigma power two will be from zero one i have to make the strings of length two so it will be zero zero 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Okay. If it is 3, means 3, uh, how many I can form? That will be uh, written all here. Okay. So this is called as the power of an alphabet. The set of all strings is denoted by sigma power star, means it will have set of all strings, all possible strings of any length. Okay. So 0, 1 star will be epsilon, then 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, then 3 length, then 4 length, then 5 length, and till uh, how many we want. That much, uh, that many we can write. Put another way, it will be equal to epsilon 0, union epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon 3, and so on. Okay. Or it will be a union of, uh, except the epsilon, we are taking the union with epsilon here. So it will be forming the set of all strings. Okay. Next, we have the concatenation of string. What do you mean by concatenation? Very, very important question from exam point of view. It has been asked in the previous year question paper. So if x is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0, and y is equal to 1, 1, 1, then x, y will be equal to 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So it will be first written x will be written here this is the x and this is the y okay so also epsilon into x is equal to x the concatenation of epsilon with x will not do anything to x x will remain as such okay next we need to know about the languages so what is a language a set of strings chosen from the uh, set of alphabets is called as a language example the language of all strings consisting of n zeros followed by n ones okay if n zeros if i choose the value of n is equal to one so it will be having 1, 0 and 1, 1. If I choose n is equal to 3, it will be having 3 zeros followed by 3 ones. So language will be a set of all such strings defined over a, over a rule. So here the rule is n zeros followed by n ones. So based on this rule, whatever the strings come, that all strings form the language. Okay. So uh, for some n is greater than or equal to 0, it will be epsilon. And 0, 1, if n is equal to 0, it will be like this. If n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, 3 zeros followed by 3 ones, and so on. Okay. 
so this is the language okay next we have the set of binary numbers whose value is prime okay the binary uh, the prime uh, the set of binary numbers whose value is prime okay so prime numbers are what 2 3 5 7 and so on so here 2 is represented as 1 0 3 is represented as 1 1 and 5 is represented as 1 0 1 7 is 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 is i believe it's 11 right so it is keep on going like this okay also note that uh, null character is equal to empty language there will be nothing present but uh, null character is not equal to the epsilon because epsilon still has something here but null character will not have anything okay this is a very important difference you need to know moving on to the second and the third topic we have two categories fsm is finite state machine what do you mean by finite state machine state means what this is state one this is state two this is state three and so on we will be moving from one state to another state and the number of states are finite so that is called as finite state machine there are two categories the first one is dfa deterministic finite automata means we know actually if for one state and one transition where we will end for q0 and the transition a will be ending in q1 we will we know that for sure that is deterministic finite automata ndfs means non deterministic finite state machine and uh, for your information the dfa and uh, fsm fa and fsm are same okay finite automata is equal to finite state machine okay it will be used interchangeably both mean the same so here non deterministic finite state machine means from q0 uh, if i take a it can either go to q1 or it can go to q2 it is not deterministic it has multiple uh, possibilities multiple outputs are there for the same transition okay that is called as non deterministic in deterministic for one transition we have only one final state okay so that is the two categories let's first discuss about the dfa okay deterministic finite state machine is defined by five tuples okay so this is the deterministic finite state machine so m is defined by q sigma and uh, the symbol s and a okay this is tau okay so here we will be having a uh, q it is a set of finite states and sigma is the input alphabets and uh, this is the transition function and s is the start state a is the accepting state let's have a look at one by one what do they mean okay while constructing fsm you have to check for the three things check for the loop and uh, check for the nearest state and check for the dead state so while solving you i'll be letting you know what all uh, these things are and how to use it okay so let's get started with an example so these are the important questions and pyqs and i have selected the questions such that if you solve all these questions whichever i have included in this video it will be enough for you to score more than 80 percent marks in the exam in from the module one okay so let's get started the question is draw a dfa we have to uh, draw a dfa okay to accept strings of a's having at least one a okay now we have to define a string uh, strings of a's having at least one a okay so the language first we have to define first you have to define the alphabet alphabet which is given here is a only okay because they have not given any other alphabet so we assume that the valid alphabet is only a okay and what are the uh, the diagram we have to start so we will be starting the diagram like this so we'll be making a circle like this and we'll be marking the diagram circle as q0 so starting state will always be q0 and the starting state will have an arrow like this okay now what is the uh, minimum string i can form i'll write l here l is the set of languages set of language what is the minimum string i can form at least one a this is a valid string it is a string which has, uh, has at least one a what is the next uh, string a a what is the next uh, string a a a and so on all of these are having single a's starting from the least and we are increasing the number so this is the least string which we can form so we have to just concern about the least string okay first we wrote the alphabet here we made the starting state and marked it as q naught and here we are writing the language the least uh, acceptable string is only a single a so here we will make a transition here to another state okay q1 uh, and q1 will be the final state final state is also called as accepting state okay so here if you pass a from q0 if i pass a i will be reaching the final state and whenever we reach the final state that means the dfa is accepted so to accept this dfa i need only one string here that is the uh, bare minimum requirement a so i will be writing it like this a and it will reach the final state now it can have more number of a's as well right so if it has more number of a's i'll be making a self loop here no matter how many a's are there it will keep on uh, staying in the same state okay. 
so uh, you got my point uh, here we'll be writing the a here first and then we'll be going to this state and then we'll be uh, traversing in this state okay so a can be formed like this a is formed a, a if i want to do first from here i'll go for a then another a i will take i'll still remain in the final state so a a will also be accepted a a a first a i went here and then another a another a it's still in the final state that means a, a is also accepted okay after making the these three things alphabet language and the transition diagram will be uh, sorry this is the yeah this is the transition diagram will be have to making the transition table okay so how is the transition table made so all you have to do is like this okay you have to make here q not okay and the starting state will represent as an arrow here and you will be writing uh, on the transition a where you are reaching you are reaching in q1 okay and uh, what is q1 q1 is the final state and final state will be marking with a star here and from q1 if you go to a from q1 if you go to a where you are reaching from q1 if you go to a you are reaching again q1 so we'll be writing q1 this is called as a transition table okay this is a transition table all right and if you have more uh, letters like b also we'll be making another column writing b that we'll be discussing okay so this is the transition diagram here and um, you have to also make the uh, transition functions okay so let's have a look how do we make the transition functions okay uh, to make the transition functions what you have to do is first you have to write the uh, um, like this okay this is called as a transition function from q naught comma a if i do where i am reaching i am reaching q1 from q1 if i do a where i am reaching i am reaching q1 is there any other possibility q naught q1 i have considered and this is the only letter i have so this is called as a transition functions and yeah this is pretty much which you have to do for each question okay so for the starting questions i'll be making these things uh, all the all of these things i'll be making but eventually i'll be focusing on just this one this one and this one because this and this is uh, referred from here only it is made from referring to this diagram so this diagram is the main thing which we need to consider okay and for this diagram we need a language and for language we need alphabet so these three things i'll be making okay you got my point i'll be moving to the next question draw a dfa to accept the strings of a's and b's having at least one a okay so let me insert some space here okay draw a dfa to accept strings of a's and b's having at least one a okay so what is the solution first we have to write the alphabets which are the alphabets given here a and b okay after we have done this much we have to define the language okay and the rule is that having at least one a at least one a means what is the minimum string you can form obviously this it is having at least one a now another string which we can form is a b i can take b also i can take a a as well at least one a is satisfied here so i can take a also and if i take b first this is not a valid we have to take a because at least one a should be there and it can be b b b a also right and it can be b a then it can be other a and b so like that many strings we can form so the least string we have to consider here okay so we'll make the transition diagram first we have to make here q naught after making q naught we'll be first seeing a here and a is required to reach the final state so we'll be writing here final state this is the final state okay so this is the one which we have uh, a and c to q1 also after making this one the next step what you have to consider is for each state whether all the alphabets are defined or not for q0 all the alphabets are defined for q0 a is defined but for q0 is b defined no so how do we define b so if i take b from here can i reach the final state if i reach the final state then it will be accepted as only b only b will be accepted but that should not happen right because b uh, the rule is having at least one a at least one a should be there then only b can be accepted so after having one a then only b can be accepted but what if i put before only b if you put before only b you will remain in the same state only you have to make the self loop no matter how many b's you take you will remain in this state only and unless and until you take a then only you will reach the final state okay so for q0 a and b are defined now you have to ch check for the q1 for the q1 after you have reached this point at least one a accepted now whatever you take either a or b doesn't matter right everything will be accepted after uh, having at least one a okay so this is the uh, transition uh, diagram let's make the transition uh, table and the transition function here i have to mention the states q0 is the starting state and q1 is the final state okay and here we will write a 
and here we will write B. Now refer to the diagram here. From Q0 uh, to A, where we are going? From Q0 to A, we are going to Q1. Okay. And from uh, Q0 to B, where we are going? From Q0 to B, we are again going to Q0. And from Q1 to A, where we are going? Q1 to A, we are going again to Q1. And from Q1 to B, where we are going? From Q1 to B, again we are going to Q1. So this is the transition diagram uh, table. Okay. This is the transition table. By referring to this table, we will be writing the transition functions. Okay. So transition functions we will be writing like this. We will start from the Q0 with A. Q0, A. From Q0, A, where we are going? Q1. We will be writing the Q1. From here, Q0, uh, B, where we are going? From Q0 to B, where uh, we are going? Only uh, uh, to the Q0 we are going. And from Q1, we will be considering Q1 with A, where we are going? Q1 with A, we are going to Q1. And from Q1 to B, where we are going? From Q1 to B, we are going to Q1. Okay, so this is the transition functions. All right, uh, let's move on to the next question. Draw a DFA to accept strings of A's and B's having exactly one A. So here, how many A's we need to have? Exactly one A. More than one A should not be accepted. So we'll be having a look at the dead state here. Okay, so that's a new concept. Let's have a look. So draw a DFA to accept strings of A's and B's. Let's have the alphabets defined. Alphabets are A and B and the language is given as what is the minimum string at least one a uh, here it is exactly one a so this is the minimum string right what is the next thing can we can i accept b b cannot be accepted because at exactly one a should be there but b a can be accepted right so what if i put as a a can a be accepted no because exactly one a should be there so it will be a b and uh, if i take a b b if i take b b a a number of n number of b's followed by a and uh, a followed by n number of b's or i can do it like this also b a then followed by n number of b's and so on okay so this is the sum of the language we have defined here so here we will be having the uh, first as uh, just a this is the minimum requirement so considering the minimum requirement i'll make the q not state here and from here i am traversing with a i am reaching the final state this is the final state and uh, yeah that is the final state now what you have to check q not for a and b both are defined no if it is b b will remain here only okay and uh, after i have reached this state no matter how many b's i take i'll remain in the same loop that is also accepted accepted but after reaching the final state exactly one a is satisfied if i take another a here if i write b comma a what will happen a a will be accepted a a should not be accepted because it has two a so what we should do if uh, another a comes here how should a be defined now uh, comes the concept of death state in case a is there okay this is the final state we will be representing by a double circle if another a comes it will go to a dead state that is defined as q2 or any other uh, letter this is called as a dead state and from the dead state we will be defining a b no matter how many a b comes will be going to the dead state suppose that i took the uh, uh, string a b b a B, like that i'll take okay now is this thing to be accepted or not to be accepted yes or no it is not to be accepted why because double a has come exactly one is if you follow this diagram will i reach the dead state or not that is my confirmation a i reached here next is what b i reached here only q1 it's accepted again b it's accepted after that is a after that is a after that it will go to a here dead state and b is here so it will again uh, remain in the same here so it has reached the dead state means it's not accepted if it reaches the dead state it means it's not accepted okay only if it reaching the uh, double circle here it will be accepted okay now uh, i hope you can make the transition diagrams as well so you just have to uh, make the table q0 q1 q2 a b and then wherever it is going the, the same thing you have to represent in the uh, transition function also another thing what you have to uh, specify is the q Q is the set of all states. Okay. Q is the set of all states. How many states we have? Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay. Q you have to define and you have to define S. What is the starting state? Starting state is Q0. A is the accepting state. Uh, accepting state will be uh, Q1. So these three things also, along with the transition diagram and the uh, table and the function, you have to write. Okay. That will be the whole uh, answer. Okay. So what all you have to include? You have to include the alphabet, language transition diagram and the set of states and the state of and the starting state and the accepting state or the final state and also the transition function transition diagram for each question you have to make this much if you want to ex uh, if you want full marks in the for the question okay
moving on to the next question um draw dfa to accept strings of a's and b's starting with a b okay so you can pause the video and try it out yourself so how do we do this one okay so same steps you have to follow whatever i have mentioned so what are the steps here uh, first you have to define the alphabet the alphabets given here are a and b what is the least string you can form starting with a b means a b is the accepted string starting with a b and then followed by any number of a's and b's any combination of a's and b's a b a a b then b a b then uh, a b or uh, a b then a a and so on okay so n, n number of strings you can form here so starting the main string a b okay so you'll be writing here q naught is starting state and you have to have a here you'll reach q1 from the q1 you will be reaching uh, q2 and the q2 will be having b okay so this is the least string which you can form okay and this is the final state now start from here q not have you defined a and b no we have not defined b if b is the case b starting with a b right so i should have only a here if b comes it should reach the dead state because that is not a valid one if it's if it's trying to start with b i should take it to the dead state because that will not lead to uh, the right string if i accept b in the starting state right so i have to take it to the dead state so I'll be writing Q3 here and it will be gone to the dead state here. And in the dead state, A and B I have to write like this. Okay. And from A, you will be starting. And after A, the only option is B. I cannot have another uh, uh, character. Right. So one more thing uh, what I have to do is if I again come here and if I see it as A coming again, I should take it to the dead state. Right. If A comes after A, it will it will be A A, right? But that should not be the case. It should be only A B, right? If A comes from this side, I have to take it to the dead side again. And after A B, I can accept n number of A's and B's here. Okay, so this is the transition diagram. Moving on, draw D F to accept the strings of A's and B's ending with A B B. Okay, so what are the uh, alphabets we have here? A B. The language which you can form is. Um, the least string what you can form ending with abb means this is the least string abb and ending with abb right so before abb i can have n number of a's and n number of b's i can write a abb or i can write b abb and i can write and so on okay a abb or uh, any other things i can write here okay all right uh, let's have a, a quick look at the transition diagram first we'll have a q naught state here and the q naught will be having the uh, first letter a and then we'll be having q1 here and this will be going to b and it will be having q2 here we'll be having another b and this will be q3 which is the final state here okay so from here a b b okay uh, and it is ending with a b b right so after it ends with ABB, I cannot have any number of other A's and B's with the self loop here. So I have to consider very carefully. So starting point here. Okay. Starting point here, it should be ending with ABB, right? So starting, I'll be taking the self loop for B here. If it's B, n number of B's I can accept before ABB, right? So A and B is defined for this. Now for this, only BB is defined. If it is to be ending with ABB, if it's to be ending with ABB, first I should check for the self loop. Is self loop A possible or not? If I take self loop A, it will be A then B B, right? So it is obviously possible. So if I have an option of making the self loop, I should first do that, then going to here. I can also go here and then again A A B B will be happened. But I have to first check if self loop is possible or not possible. Okay. So here A is possible, so I'll be taking the self loop. Now here, here uh, B is defined, but A is not defined. What if I come at this point and then another A comes? If another A comes, can I take the self loop? If I take the self loop, it will accept B A B at the end. That should not be accepted. If I take the, uh, if I pass this as here, if I take this and make A as here, what will happen? A will come here, then B B. It will be ending will be A B B, right? You get the point, right? At this point, if A comes, A will be going here, then B B will be ending. It will be ending with A B B. So A and B is defined for this one. For here, now uh, observe carefully. It should be ending with A B B, right? It should be ending with a b b means from here if a comes if a comes it has been it has to be shifted back to this point right because from here b b will be uh, ended if i take a then b will be ended so a is here if b comes here at this point what should i do if b comes after b another b comes 
at that point i have to take it back to the starting point okay why i have to take to the starting point because if b comes i cannot take i cannot take it to here if i take it to here what happens b b b b b b will be accepted i can't take it to here then what will be accepted b b will be accepted right that should not happen so i have to take it at uh, this point here right so i'll be taking it back to here first position so here b will be there so b comes here then another a b b should be there at the ending okay so this is how you make the diagram for uh, this uh, question okay going on draw d f to accept strings of a and b is having substring a b a a b means in between somewhere a a b should be there you got my point so what are the uh, uh, set of alphabets alphabets are a and b and the language will be minimum string the substring a b a b means anywhere in between or in the starting or in the end it should have a a b this is the least string now this is a substring means in starting part i can have a then a a b i can have b then a a b i can have uh, a a a b then uh, a again this is one string a a a b and then b this is also one string i can have b a a b and uh, a like that i can form many strings the thing is a a b should be in between this is a listing let's have a look so first we'll make the q not state okay we'll make the q not state so this is the q not state okay and this least string is a a b so i have to make here a and this will be q1 a q2 B Q three final state. Okay. Now here, what if the B comes? B comes means can have n number of B's here only, right? N number of B's because substring A should be A A B should be there, right? Substring A A B should be there. If I accept B here, it will be B A B. Substring A A B is not formed, so B will be here only. And uh, from here, from here A has come. Okay. And A B should be there. If B comes at this point, can I take a self loop? If I take a self loop, it will be A B A B. A B A B is not a valid character. Why? Because A, a B is there. If I cannot have a B here, I should take it back. Right? That's my only possibility. Now A and B is defined for this. For here, B is defined. What if A comes? If A comes, I can take the self loop here only because the substring should be A A B. Right? Substring should be A B. Already one A has come here. There is no other uh, letter which is coming here. A has come here. If I take another A here, it will not do any, any difference. I can take that, right? A A B. If I take A then B, uh, at least two A's are guaranteed here, right? If A comes, it is guaranteed. If A doesn't come, also already one A is here. It is still guaranteed. Okay. So A and B is defined for here. Now from here, after uh, reaching this point, the substring A A B is guaranteed. After the guarantee is done, we are not concerned about any other thing. A and B, how many things are accepted whatever comes after this uh, we are least bothered about that because the condition was that substring a a b should be there and that is guaranteed before reaching this one after reaching this one we can have any number of a's and b's in any combination okay so this is the uh, solution for the a's and b's having substring a okay draw dfa to accept strings of a's and b's which do not end with a b b okay here it is not ending with a b b we have made till now all the strings which are ending with something or starting with something here it is not ending with this okay how do you make that so here the first step is make a dfa of all strings ending with a b b first make all the strings which are ending with this one then just change the non final state to final state and make the final state as non final state let's have a look ending with a b b first we have to make that okay that's our step one so this is q not here but ending with a b b the least string will be a b b right a b b this is the least string q3 okay and this is the final state here okay so since this is the final state here although, although the question is not completed let me make this one okay you have to also define for the other letters if b is here what will happen and so on okay so what is the question end with a b b right end with a b means if b comes it will be still remaining here only and uh, b and a is defined if a comes here a have to go here ending with a b b right self loop is possible okay and for here if uh, a comes a should be going back to here right you have solved this question 
and AV is defined here. Now, after that, ending with AV, we write if it is coming here and another A comes, if another A comes, what should happen? If A comes, it should go back here, it should be ending with ABB, so it will go back here. And BB, if B comes, B will be going back to the starting state here. Okay. Now, this is the uh, normal DFM. Okay, this is the normal DFM. Normal DFM means what? Ending with ABB. Ending with ABB. Now, reaching this point, ending with ABB. What the question we have given is which do not end with ABB. So, which all states are there which do not end with ABB? This state does not end with ABB. This state also does not end with ABB. This state also does not end with ABB. All we have to do is just erase this final state here and make this as final state and this as final state and this as final state. Because in each of these final state, it is not ending with ABB. Only this state it ends with ABB, which we will not consider. Because the question is, which do not end with ABB that we have to consider. So we are just considering that which are not ending with ABB. Okay, this is how you make the uh, type of question where it is do not end, like a, a negation question. Okay. Next, we have draw uh, DFA to accept strings of ACB such as that AWA uh, is such that W belongs to A or B power N. Okay. So here W is there. Okay. W can be A or B n number of times. Okay. A or B it can be n number of times. And it is starting and ending with A. So what is the least string we have? So first the language, uh, I mean the alphabets are A and B. Okay. And the language which we have is, see N is given as greater than or equal to 0. So N can be 0 also. If N is 0, both A and B will not be considered. And W will be empty. If W is empty, the least string will be AA. A is the least string which can be accepted. Okay. What is the next string? I can have either A or B in between this one. W can be either A and B, right? N number of times. I'll take first A, then second thing I'll be taking B, A, B, A, then N number of A's and B second take in between. So I'll be taking A, B here first, or I can take A, B, B here, and so on. Okay. So many things I can form here. So least thing we have to consider A, A. So we'll be making the diagram very quickly. Q naught. And here we have A and this is Q1, we have another A and we have reached the final state here, Q2. Okay, this is the final state here after AA. Okay, now the question is we have to define for each, is Q not having both A and B? No, it's not having B. If B is there, what we should do? It should must start with A. There is no other possibility for any other alphabet. It should start with A. If it does not start with A, it will go to the dead state. Okay, Q3 will be the dead state here and we'll go there and here A and B will be uh, looped here. After that, if uh, it's ending with A and A and B are defined here, if uh, B comes here, what should happen? If B comes here, B can be here n number of times, right? B can be here n number of times and A, it will go to the end state here. Now suppose that I want to make A, B, B, A. That I can take here. A, B, A, then I have to uh, again take as, uh, see what I'm trying to take is A, B, A, uh, B, B or A, B, A, A, B. Okay. So after this point, A, B, A, A, B, A means A, B, N number of Bs, A. It is gone here. After that, if I want to see ending should be A. So these both states are not accepted. I have to add another A here. Okay. So after this point, if A comes, what should happen? After this point, if A comes, what should happen? A ending point is A. So A will be here only. Ending point is A. What if B comes? B comes, B cannot be taken here. If I take B here, the ending will be B, but that should not be accepted. Ending should not be B, right? So I'll not take B here. B should be gone back to here. Okay. B should be gone back to here. Because ending cannot be A, uh, with B. So B will be gone here. N number of Bs can happen. If it wants another A, B, it can come A, again B, but ending should be A here. So this is how the A and B both are defined for each of these states. And that's how you make the answer for, uh, that's how you write the answer for DFA to accept strings of A and B with the given language. Okay. Moving on, we have draw the DFA to accept strings of zeros and ones for the given language. Now we have W and W is 0, 0 is starting here and ending also with 0, 0, uh, ending with 1, 1. And in between we have n number of uh, 0 and 1. Okay. And uh, it is star means it can be included with zeros. Means it cannot have anything also between it can be empty also. So what is the line, uh, alphabets? Alphabets are 0 and 1. And now we are uh, going to uh, write the language. Language, what are the valid strings? 0, 0, 1, 1 is a valid string. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. 
zero 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 one 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 and so on. Okay. So in between, see zero 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 one zero one like that. You have to start from the beginning. Okay. Nothing is here. Then you have to take a one, then zero, then two digits you have to take zero 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 one one zero one one and so on. Okay. Now let this is a uh, list string. We have to make the following uh, states here. Q not with zero it will reach to Q one with zero it will reach to Q two with one it will reach to Q three with one it will reach to final state Q four. Okay. This is the zero zero one one list string which we have found. Now we have to uh, uh, means uh, make the transitions for uh, one also. So here Q not zero is defined. If it is one, what should happen? See, starting is zero zero and ending is one one. There is no other option here. So zero zero should be starting from here and here. We cannot have any other state. Only zero zero should be there. If any other state comes, it will go to the dead state here. If trying to start from one, it should not be accepted because starting must be zero zero. So let's make the dead state here Q five, and from here it will be zero one. Okay. After that one we have made here. And from here also, if one comes, it should go to the dead state. Okay, zero zero is started. Now from here, I can take as many uh, zeros and ones I can want. If it is zero, I can have a self loop here. It can be n number of zeros. Ending should be one one. Okay, here it is the ending point. Zero and one is defined. And from here, from this point, if it is going to uh, accept a zero, if I do it as zero self loop, what will happen? Ending will be zero one. That should not be accepted. End ending should be one one only. So if it is a zero, it should go back to this state. Then it can end with one one here. It can go zero and number of zeros it can take and ending with one one. So zero and one is defined. Now for this state, what will happen? From here, ending should be one one, right? So one has come. N number of ones is fine here. Ending will be one one. At least two ones are here and a third one will not make any difference. Two ones are should be there in the end. It is already guaranteed. If another one comes, two ones are still there. Okay. So one will be there only. What if zero? If zero comes here, it should go back to this same state. Because ending should be one one, so zero should go to this state from where the ending will be one one again. So this is the diagram for the given question. Next, we have draw DFA to accept strings of A's and B's having four A's. This is the condition. Four A's should be there. Okay. So let's have a look. Um, exactly four A's. Okay, having four A's means exactly four A's. So what is the alphabet given A and B? What is the language we can form? Least string will be having four A's means A A A A. Then we can have uh, in between starting ending anything we can have. So initially I'll have A in the starting. Okay, I can have B in the starting. And after this uh, force, I can also have it like this. Okay, observe carefully. I can also have it like this. A B A B B A A. I can also have it like this. Four A should be there. It's not given. It should be consecutive, right? It is not given. It should be consecutive. It is having this one. It can be anywhere in the uh, code. It can be either B B A A A B A. This is also accepted, right? So we can have anywhere four A's. Okay. The total number of A's should be four. So uh, let's make the uh, transition diagram. So what is the listing? We'll be considering that. Let's have a look. A A A A. Right. So let's have a look. A A A. Let's make it Q not A Q one A. Q two, A, Q three, A four A's are there. Q four and this is the final state. Now four A's are there. Now we just have to accommodate for the B's. Now if B has come here, okay. If B has come here, I cannot take it to this one state because it will become then B A A will be accepted. That should not be accepted. Four A should be there, so B will be present here only. And here one A has come, B will be present here only. Okay. And here also B will be present here. And here also B will be present here, and then here n number of A's and B's can be accepted. Okay, until the condition is there for A's, we cannot make B transition to the next state. We have to have that A. That is a given condition. So n number of B's in in between I can insert. Okay. So this is the uh, transition diagram for the for A's. Let's move to the next question. Draw a DFA to accept strings of zeros, ones, and twos beginning with a zero. Followed by odd number of ones and ending with a two. Okay, so here we have to add or here we have to have odd number of ones. Let's have a look how to do that. So here, what is the set of alphabets? The set of alphabets is zero, one, and two. Okay, this is a set of alphabets. Now, uh, what is the language? The minimum string. So starting with a zero, that is compulsory. 
followed by odd number of ones so minimum one should be there uh, one one should be there ending with a two zero one two is a minimum string now zero and two should be there odd number of ones zero and two should be there odd number of ones okay and so on okay also uh, there is another possibility that it can also have zero zero one two right or it can have zero zero one two two it can have zero one zero two two this is also possible okay so there are many possibilities let's have a look at each one by one so here what you are supposed to do uh, the minimum string is zero one two okay this there is no doubt in this so let's have uh, a minimum string here q not zero q1 1 q2 2 q3 is the final string okay 0 1 2 it should be there and starting with a 0 okay starting with a 0 means if 1 or 2 comes in the starting point it should go to the dead state okay then here 0 1 2 should go to the dead state starting with 0 now here anything can happen ending with 2 okay let's have a look 0 1 and 2 is defined here now here what if after 0 1 comes 1 come is defined if a 0 again comes 0 again comes you can be having a self loop right if it's coming as 2 2 can also have a self loop here because whatever can be accepted here it should just have odd number of uh, 1 here okay so 0 1 2 is defined here now coming to this point here 0 and 1 we have defined 2 is defined 0 and 1 if 1 comes here can i take a self loop if i take a self loop what will happen 0 1 1 2 will be accepted 0 1 1 2 should not be accepted it will be even number of ones 0 1 1 2 it should not be accepted so here what we can do here we have to consider uh, odd number of ones to make it odd we will again take back one here 0 1 1 will come here so again when one again will come here it will be an odd number see 1 1 is here and if i take uh, another one it will be coming back to here to make it three now two ones are here the third one it should come back here it will again be odd so i'll ensure that in this state whenever i reach it will always be odd number of ones right so this is you will make one here what if zero zero can be a self loop zero doesn't matter here okay at this state how many zeros you take it doesn't matter you can uh, have n number of zeros here and if one is coming that should be going back here to make it odd when it comes back here okay and uh, from here it should be ending with two and if any other thing is there it should not be considered two will be self loop it should be ending with two right followed and ending with a two okay and um here if zero and one come what will happen if zero comes okay if zero comes it should go back here nearest it if zero comes it should go back here because it should end with a two it cannot end with zero this is the nearest state. i'll make zero here what if one comes if one comes again it should go back here this state to make it uh, again odd when it come back i have to take it to this state right if one comes here even number of ones are there again it should pass through here only to reach this so again one will come if the uh, number of ones will become odd okay so this is how you make the uh, uh, right dance for dfa to actual strings of zero ones and twos beginning with zero and ending with two and odd number of ones okay. next question we have considered dfa with accepts a language of all binary string divisible by 3 over 0 and 1 so the alphabet they have given 0 and 1 now we have to consider all the binary strings divisible by 3 now tell me what is the binary string of 0 it is 0 0 what is the binary string of 1 it is 0 1 binary string of 2 it is uh, 1 0 binary string of 3 it is 1 1 1 uh, sorry not 1 1 1 it is 1 1 okay binary string of 4 uh, binary string of 4 will be uh, 100 binary string of 5 101 binary string of 6 110 and so on okay now see if i divide some number by 3 okay what is 0 by 3 it is 0 only what is 1 by 3 it is 1 2 by 3 is 2 the remainder 3 by 3 the remainder is 0 4 by 3 the remainder is 1 5 by 3 the remainder is 2 6 by 3 the remainder is 0 so i can form a group 0 3 6 that all have remainder 0 1 1 and 4 1 4 7 
uh, nine those uh, not nine ten these have remainder one two five uh, eight all those have remainder three okay so now based on the reminders we have to generate the string okay now let's start what is the uh, least string which we can form okay least string is zero okay zero should be accepted so q naught is here if it is a zero it should accept here the binary string we are concerned so if zero means it should come here and this is only the final state also okay this is only the final state if zero means it should be accepted that is the final state zero is divisible by three if uh, n number of zeros also still is zero only so it should be divisible by three and it will be coming back to this state now uh, what if it is uh, zero one if it is zero one means i'll define q1 q1 is for remainder one q2 is for remainder two so how many types of remainder are there that many states you make okay now for 0 1 0 1 means it should come here which is having the remainder 1 okay if it is 1 0 okay so here uh, it can be just 1 also just 1 also will remain the same thing only if it is 1 and another 0 it should come to this state 1 0 means 2 and this is the remainder for 2 okay now you have to define for other one 0 1 is defined here and 0 is defined what if it is 1 if it is 1 means what it will be 1 1 1 1 is 3 3 means 0 remainder and now here uh, 0 and 1 is defined here it will be 0 and 1 we have to define for uh, this point for here if it is 0 okay what we have to do it is 0 means what 1 0 0 1 0 0 means 4 4 has the remainder 1 so 1 0 0 means again it should come back to this uh, uh, 4 0 0 like that we have to see okay for each state if i want to define for 0 or 1 i'll see if i define for 0 what is the number forming what is the remainder based on that i'll go to that state 1 0 0 and if i do it as 1 here 1 0 1 what is 1 0 1 5 5 means how much remainder 2 2 remainder state is this so 1 0 1 will be remaining here now this will be valid for uh, any number of states now suppose that i will take a value as um, 11 what is the uh, equivalent of 11? I believe it is 1011. Okay, 1011 only, right? 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus, uh, what is 1011? Okay, this is 2 power 0 is 1, 2. Uh -huh. What is 1011? The value. Yeah, it will be 1 plus 2 plus 8. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, fine. So 1011 is for 11. Let's have a look. 11 means what should be the remainder? 3 by 11, the remainder is 2. The R should be equal to 2. It should come back to Q2. Let's have a look. 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, 1. So it came back here. Right? So this works for all the uh, values. We have to just consider for the starting values. It will work for all the multiples of such values. Okay. Going on, consider DFA that uh, W is equal to N, a number of A's in the W mod 3 should be equal to 0. Okay. So the uh, alphabets they have given here, A and B. Let's consider our language here. So see here, the number of A's mod 3 should be equal to 0. So number of A's can be either 0A, or it can be 3A's, it can be 6A's and so on. So what is the least string you can form? The least string you can form is the empty string here. Right? Empty string will also have the number of A's mod 3 0. Let's consider B here, okay, for instance. Empty strings that will be considered in epsilon transitions, okay. So B is the minimum string which you can form, right? And another string I can form B, B, and n number of B's I can form. If A comes in between first, okay, A comes, A, another 2A should come anywhere in between. Anywhere uh, 2A should come. So this is one another accepted string and so on, okay. So number of A should be the multiples of 3, either 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on, okay. Listing is this one. Let's have a look. Q naught and Q naught is the accepting state also. B will be the self Q. Number number of B's the Q naught should be having self Q. Now number of A's mod three should be equal to zero. So if one A comes, the remainder will be one here because one mod three is one. So this is the remainder one part. This is the remainder two part. Okay. And for the remainder three, it should go back to this state, right? A. Right. And B's again, and number of B's you can form here also. You can form. So this is the one and number of fish you can form in between and you'll be having one A. So just think of one example. Um, a, A, B, A, 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 B, B, A, B, 
तो इज दिस एक्सेप्टेड और नॉट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवन ए शुड नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेड मीन आइर शुड एंड विथ क्यू वन और क्यू टू लेट्स ए ए बी ए ए बी देन ए ए इज देर ए ए ए बी बी इज देर बी बी अनदर ए इज हि एंड बी इज हि देन अनदर ए इट एंडेड अप विथ क्यू वन राइट सो दिस वर्क्स Okay, so this is our right answer. Let's move on to the next one. Obtain a DFA to accept a string W satisfying the following condition. So there is a condition given here. It should satisfy that condition. So what is that condition? The length of uh, W mod three should be equal to greater than or equal to length of uh, mod two. Okay, where W is belongs to A. So uh, A only is the accepted character, and mod three should be greater than or equal to the uh, W mod two. Okay. so let's have a look when in in which case this is true okay what length of w will make this condition as true okay if w is equal to 0 if w is equal to 0 mod 3 the 0 mod 3 is 0 and 0 mod 2 is also 0 both are equal that is accepted okay if w is equal to 1 1 mod 3 1 mod 2 accepted w is equal to 2 w is equal to 2 means this will be 0 okay And this will be two accepted. W is equal to three. W is equal to three means it should not accept. W mod three will be zero, and W mod two will be one. Three mod two is one, right? So this is not the accepted one. Okay. When it is uh, W is three, it should not be accepted. What if it is four? W is equal to four. W is equal to four. Here it will be one. Here it will be zero. It is accepted. W is equal to five. W is equal to five. It should, it will be accepted. Five mod three is two, and uh, five mod two is one. Accepted. W is equal to six. Both are same. Mod three and mod two zero. Accepted. W is equal to seven. Seven. This will be here. It will be one. Here it will be uh, one. Accepted. W is equal to eight. Zero here, and here it will be two. Accepted. W is equal to nine. Here it will be uh, zero. Here it will be one. It will not be accepted, right? So odd multiples of three are not accepted. What pattern you observe here? Odd multiples. Odd multiples of three should not be accepted. Okay, odd multiples of three should not be accepted. So based on this, we have to define the string. Okay, so what is the minimum string we can form? The empty string. Just uh, ignore it. The least thing we, which you can form is w is equal to one. One a we can form here. So we'll be making the transition diagram here. And in this type of question where we have two mod conditions, we have to make two separate diagrams. Then we have to merge them. Okay. So let's make a diagram for mod three. Okay. So this is the diagram for mod three. In mod three, what are the accepted ones? Zero, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Okay. So mod three, let's say let's make make the normal mod three. Okay. Okay. For mod three, this is the Q not state. Okay. Condition is W mod three. Okay. So this is the uh, Q not state here, and this will be the accepted state as well. Right. Because zero mod three will be zero, so this should be accepted. And this is the final state also. If one a comes, it should go to the first q one. If another a comes, let's take it to the q two for the two remainder. For the third remainder, it will come back here. Okay. This is the mod three diagram. And for mod two, there will be just two states here. Q not, which is the final and accepting state. This is the one remainder state. V A here and from here so A will come. Now after you have made the mod three and the mod two, you have to make the uh, you have to take the merging of it. Okay, so if this is uh, M one and this is M two, I have to do M one cross M two. Okay, if I do M one cross M two, I'll be obtaining the following states. I'll be obtaining uh, zero zero. Okay, and I'll be obtaining zero one. Okay, 
the remainders 0 0 then i'll be obtaining 0 1 and then i'll be obtaining uh, 1 0 then i'll be obtaining 1 1 the remainders both have 1 and i'll be obtaining a remainder of 1 0 and uh, sorry not 1 0 2 0 i'll be obtaining a remainder 2 1 okay these are the possible remainders which i had discussed earlier right see here i discussed if the length is 0 both the answers will be the remainder 0 if it is 1 means both will have the remainder 1 like that i'm considering okay both are 1 like that and here 0 and 1 so 0 and 1 is in which case in 3 when it is 3 when it is 3 it will be 0 and 1 right so like that all the possibilities i have considered here okay i have written it here now after uh, this point here what you have to do um, you have to make a table in this format okay to make a table in the following format okay let's make a table so here you have to make the table and you have to write here the function p comma q p is the remainder for mod 3 q is the remainder for mod 2 now 0 0 the same things will be writing here 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay i'll write in a different order here it will be more simpler okay 0 0 1 1 i will take here then i'll take as 2 0 then i'll take as 0 1 here i'll take as 1 0 here i'll take as 2 1 okay so all the, the remainders are covered here i'll take the input alphabet since it is a i'll just take a here so i'll be writing a a a a a and a after that i'll be writing the m1 m1 p comma q okay m1 p comma q now uh, if it is 0 0 okay if it is 0 0 what uh, is the possible answer in m1 p q Okay, so here you have to write P A not P Q and uh, here we'll be writing it as um, M2 and Q comma A. Okay, so what is this 0, 0, 1, 1 is that? See, observe carefully here. We have the uh, remainders. Okay, in mod 3, what are the possible remainders? 0, 1 and 2. And in mod 2, we have the remainders 0 and 1. So I have made the combinations 0 with 0, 0 with 1 then 1 with 0 1 with 1 2 with 0 2 with 1 like that okay so those values are written here okay 0 0 1 1 2 0 0 1 1 0 and 2 1 and upon a, a is the alphabet now here if 0 upon a what will be the answer 0 upon a 0 upon a is uh, q1 q1 is nothing but 1 okay i'll be writing 1 for q1 0 for q0 and 2 for q2 okay and 0 upon uh, a for uh, m2 okay for m2 what will be 0 upon a for m2 0 upon a will be q1 so it will be 1 here okay next 1 upon a for m1 1 upon a for m1 1 upon a for m1 is q2 so i'll be writing here 2 1 upon a for m2 it will be q2 uh, q0 so it will be 0 okay so in the same way we'll be writing for all of them it will be 0 and 1 it will be 1 0 it will be 2 1 and here it will be 0 0 okay let's take a random here this one okay let's take uh, 1 upon a 1 upon a in m1 is 1 upon a 1 upon a in m1 is 2 right and uh, 1 upon 0 upon m2 in uh, m2 0 upon a in m2 okay 0 upon a in m2 is 1 so here it is 1 okay so like this next it will be m1 m2 you have to take it together so m1 m2 when you take it together it will be 1 comma 1 it will be 2 comma 0 and this will be 0 comma 1 and this will be 1 comma 0 and this will be 2 comma 1 and this will be 0 comma 0 now you have to obtain the transition diagram okay using this diagram you have to make the uh, transition uh, using this table you have to make the transition diagram so this is the source this is the output so 0 0 upon a you will reach 1 1 like that you have to do okay let's make that so uh, considering this diagram let's have a look so uh, what are our states 0 0 this is one state here and uh, what is another state the next state will be one one 
okay next it will be two zero next it will be zero one okay any order you can write one zero and last it will be two one okay so seeing this diagram you have to just consider this one zero zero upon a where it goes one one so you'll write one uh, one one here like this one one upon a where it goes two zero and two zero upon a where it goes zero one a this is also a this is also a one zero upon one one is this one and from here again it will come back here to a now uh, yeah this is all the diagram only a is the alphabet which is given to her so this is the uh, states now we have to consider which is the starting and which is the final state okay so in which case it is not accepted as i told you the odd multiples of three right odd multiples of three will be uh, present where okay where will be odd multiples of three let's have a look at that now observe carefully here um, where all we can make the final state in the first diagram we had made the final state 0 and 0 q0 and q0 so 0 and 0 is the final state wherever uh, we have 0 and 0 that is the final states also wherever uh, mod 3 is greater than mod 2 right that is also the final state so wherever this value is greater than this value that is the final state okay so let's choose the final state 0 0 final state 1 1 equal final state 2 0 this is greater than this final state is this greater than this no it's not the final state this is the final state this is the final state all right so this is the final answer for the given question and this marks the end of dfsm so if you practice this many question it is more than enough for you to score more than 80 percent marks okay so let's move to the second topic which is uh, non-deterministic finite automata it is same as finite state automata but here we'll be having it much more easier also here we'll be having epsilon transitions okay also it will be non-deterministic means will not have one single output we can have multiple outputs also we need not define for each of the letters like for example here we are defining for each right let's take a question this one like here we'll check for a and b it is defined or not there will not check that we'll just check if for a it is defined or not that's all okay if it's re required for a only for reaching the final state we'll just see for a we'll not define for b so, and we can have multiple uh, outputs for a also okay let's uh, discuss some examples you'll get to know what i'm trying to say okay the same set of uh, the tuples will be here also construct an nfa for the given language string starts with a over uh, a b okay sing string starts with a okay it should start with a so here very simple what will be the uh, uh, least string here the least string will obviously be a only right so this is the q naught the least string which we can have is a and that will be here q1 starts with a then n number of a's and b's can be there look here i am not defining for b i'm not concerned about b here okay we are not concerned about b you can either define not define it doesn't matter but this is a valid answer because the condition what is specified starts with a specified now anything you can put or not put it's your wish okay that is nfa consider nfa for the given language uh, string end with a if string is ending with a what will be the language languages can be a comma b a it can be b b a it should be last should be a that's all okay list is this one so let's define it q not here a q1 right after that a is defined here now it's my wish i can define a or b it doesn't matter if we have to define a or b here suppose that a came here if b comes it should not be a self loop it should come back to here okay if a means it can be here n number of a's right and if b starts from here i can either define or not define but still if you want to define we can put as a b or we can skip also okay consider nfa for the given language string contains a it should contain just one a so what will be the language language the minimum one will be a it can be a b a it can be b a a but a should be there okay so here it will be q0 and when a i'll put i'll put q1 and this is a final set that's all this can only be also be my answer still i'll make here as a b here also as a b for more clarification okay consider nfa for the given language string starts with a b simple what is the listing obviously it will be a b only final set a b now i can define or not define it's my wish so here i'm not uh, defining here 
a starts with a b can be a and b here you can define or not define if you wish suppose that we came here a and uh, again a came it will be uh, starting with a b so a and again a cannot come here right so if again a comes it will be an invalid one right so uh, in that case what we can do um we can uh, consider the a again to come here but we can skip it also because it is an fa right so this much is enough okay considering if you accept the language uh, w is equal to a b a b power n or a b a power n where n is greater than or equal to 0 okay so what is the language here language is the least thing can be a b a b power n i can take n as 0 and it will be gone and if uh, or or also i can take a b these are the two least things which are present right so this is the two listing and after that i can have a b a b b and so on and here i can have a b a a a and so on okay so here we will be starting from q naught and a b a should be accepted i'll put a here i'll put b here i'll put a here and q3 done accepted okay and a b also should be accepted so i'll put here a see it can have multiple outputs also okay this is the uh, easy part of uh, nfa okay q4 a and then uh, it will have a b here a b should be accepted q4 and uh, here it will be q5 okay this is also accepted okay and it can have n number of a's after this and here it can have n number of b's after this right because it is power n right so this should be there and uh, rest of all the things you need not define okay so these are a few examples of nfa and another important question which can be asked is conversion of nfa to dfa by subset construction method okay so how do we uh, construct nfa to dfa ending with a let's take an example l is equal to language is ending with a given letters are a b so construct an nfa first this is our first step constructing an nfa the language will be a b a a it is should be ending with a so everywhere at the end as you can see a is present cool so uh, this is the one um, this is the language constructing nfa q not a b it can be here ending with a and from here anything can be there construct a transition table for nfa so transition table will be as follows q not q1 and here a b the starting and ending state if q not if you go to a q not to a q not to a it can be in q not also it can go to q1 also so q not comma q1 and uh q not to b q not to b it will go to q not only right from q1 nothing should be nothing is defined it's uh, you always can uh, define as well yeah it doesn't matter but uh, since we have considering the minimum one it will not be defined okay so it will be null and null from q1 neither a nor b is defined so it will be null and null. so transition table for nfa is done next transition table for dfa just the uh, union of both q not union q1 is q not union uh, union q1 here q not and q1 union uh, null is q not and q1 q not null uh, union null is q not okay so this is the one uh, state you have to uh, accept means the new states which are there which that we have to consider and take the union okay so this will be the unions now this will be one state q1 q0 will be one state and based on that just make the diagram okay very simple q0 is here q0 q1 see the table q0 is a starting state and q0 q1 is ending state double circle it from q0 to a we are going this state q0 to b q0 <coughs> this state to a again here only this state to b again q0 so this is the final nfa to dfa converted okay i'll discuss the application of text search at the end okay before that let's discuss the epsilon transitions for nfa okay so epsilon transition means the null transitions example epsilon nfa that accepts zero or more a's followed by zero or more b's followed by zero or more c's so it can be a power n b power n c power n where is uh, where n is greater than or equal to 0 okay any a number of n you can put here and take that okay so it will be like this 0 or more uh, is any number of that okay so the valid ones are a power n c power n with b as zeros and a as zeros and c as zeros or just uh, epsilon just a here just b just c a power n b power n c power n and so on the transition diagram will be as follows here so see i can take a number of a's or I can directly go here. Epsilon means I can directly go here. So suppose that I consider epsilon and directly go here. Consider B and C. What will be my result? B, C, C. Like that also I can take C, C. Or I can take B, B, C, C. Like that. Skipping A. I can skip B also. If I skip B, 
I'll be just have ending up with C also. So epsilon means without taking any character, I'm going to the next state. That is the epsilon. Okay. So these are transition tables. Q uh, not Q1, Q2 will be writing here. A, B, C, and epsilon. So Q0 to A where we are reaching. Q0 to A, Q0 only we are reaching. Q0 with B where we are reaching. We are not defined it, so it will be null here. Q0 to C not defined null here, so it's not required to define in NFA, so we are not defining here. Q0 with epsilon where we are going. Uh, Q1, Q0 with epsilon, Q1. Like that we'll be defining for all of them. Okay, so these are transition tables. So this is how you uh, work with the epsilon transitions. Let's consider a question uh, as well here. Obtain an uh, NFA to accept strings of W which belong to A and B, and W is made up of optional A followed by an uh, A A followed by A. Optional is given here. That means it is epsilon. Wherever optional is given, there we have we have to have an option for skipping this. Skipping is implemented by epsilon. So that means it is epsilon NFA. You have to observe and get to know. Okay, this is how you observe. Look for the keyword optional. Okay, so this is the uh, alphabet C and B, and this is the transition diagram. See here, uh, we have to accept uh, an optional A first. So an A is here, or we can skip it. Either accept or skip it. Followed by A A. A A should be compulsory. Then you can have a number of Bs here. Okay, followed by A A and a number of Bs here. Also, you can have here A comma B. That also doesn't matter. Okay, because Followed by A is there, you can have after that any number of A's. Okay, based on that, the diagram is made here. Okay, so this is how you work with the epsilon transitions. Okay, the last application, the last topic we have is the application in the text uh, search. So, the concept which you have learned to detect the strings here, to accept the strings only which have the particular condition, this can be used to do the text search. So, all of this data can be provided and I will provide a rule. Based on that rule, only that word will be uh, selected. So what is happening? I have provided the data. One word is getting selected. We are searching the text. Okay. So we can use NFA to do that. Uh, example: Search web or eBay in the given text using NFA. So web or eBay should be searched. So here is starting state. Any number of alphabets will still stay here. If it is W, I'll reach here. E B. Web. I have reached the state. If it is eBay, I'll reach the state. Any other uh, states we are not reaching anywhere, we will stay there only. Okay, or we are not considering that state, we will go to the null state. Okay, that will not be considered. If it is these characters will be searched and it will go to the final state, whichever final state triggers that will be uh, marked as that uh, world is found. Okay, so a uh, few questions related to the application of the text. This is not from exam point of view. Okay, it is just for your information if you want to like uh, know uh, like how these uh, things work. Okay, so design an effort to recognize the following set of things. Same thing. A, B, C, A, B, D, and A, C, D. These three strings it should uh, search. How it does? Alphabets given are A, B, C, D. Okay. I have to uh, match the pattern A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D. So A, B, C. Directly you can make here final state. Next is A, B, D. A, B is same here. If it goes to D, this should be triggered. Okay. A, A, C, D. A, A, C, D. Like that you can make. Okay. You can make all of them separate also. That also doesn't matter in NFA. Okay. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So see here, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here it is 1, here it is 0. So based on that, I can take a simplification. 0, 1, 1, accepted. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, accepted. 0, 1, 1, okay. Uh, sorry, the first one was 0, 1, 1, right? Yeah, this was 0, 1, 1. Next is 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, I can take another 0 and 1 also, but still, like, uh, since this is present, I'll make it a more simplified one. 0, 1, 0, 1, like that. Okay. So, this is also accepted here. So, based on that, you can make the applications and give the example if you're asking the exam, the application text. That's all for this video. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.